Close to eight months after the coronavirus pandemic, an American pharmaceutical company reports its experimental vaccine is showing promise. U.S. biotech firm Moderna's coronavirus vaccine has successfully triggered an immune response in all volunteers against COVID-19 during preliminary testing, according to a study in the New England Journal of Medicine. After the vaccine is injected, the mRNA orders the body's cells to make proteins that imitate the structure of the coronavirus's spike proteins. Then, the body's immune system learns to recognize the viral proteins as the mark of invading pathogens. The first phase trial tested the shot on three groups of 15 volunteers, and a different dosage was used for each group. Some volunteers received two shots spaced 28 days apart. According to Moderna, trial participants with two doses of the vaccine displayed antibody levels that are higher than the average level found in recovered patients of COVID-19. Not surprisingly, Moderna's stocks are up by 17%. But is their vaccine really going to work? Well, the jury is still out. The vaccine had side effects. Three of the volunteers on the highest dosage had severe fever, chills, headaches, or nausea. One patient suffered fevers that ran as high as 39.6 degrees Celsius, or about 103 Fahrenheit. Although it's just one person, 103 degrees sounds a smidgen high. And this isn't quite a slam dunk. Feinstein Institute's director Diamond is cited by Stat News as saying, There are certainly lots of things we don't know yet right now. The world is racing for a COVID-19 vaccine, but how will a coronavirus vaccine work? Keep watching if you want to find out. Oxford is starting human trials for the first coronavirus vaccine in Europe. Alyssa Granado is one of the first two volunteers to receive the experimental vaccine. Citing the University of Oxford, the BBC reports on April 23rd that the experimental COVID-19 vaccine takes the coronavirus's genetic material and inserts the substance into adenoviruses that are responsible for the common cold. The cold viruses are weakened so that they cannot grow inside the human body after injection. The modified viruses should make the human cells produce the same spike proteins that stud the surface of the coronaviruses and teach the immune system to recognize COVID-19. When vaccine recipients actually encounter the coronavirus, their body's immune system would then be able to identify the threat and scramble antibodies and killer T cells to fight off the infection. At the time of report, Two volunteers have received the shot, out of around 800 recruited for the first phase human trial. Citing the doctors, the BBC reports potential side effects include headache, fever and muscle pains a couple of days after the injection. Oxford professor of vaccinology Sarah Gilbert says she is, quote, very optimistic about the vaccine. However, Oxford Vaccine Group director Andrew Pollard says the team is racing to catch the tail end of the pandemic to conduct the test. This means if Britain flattens the curve too fast, there might not be enough data to see if the vaccine actually works. So there you go. Don't get sick. But if you do get sick, it would be for the good of science. According to the Associated Press, intrepid Seattle resident Jennifer Haller is taking a shot for the team as the first person to receive an experimental Wuhan virus vaccine. A U.S. volunteer became the first person to receive an experimental COVID-19 vaccine as part of the first phase of human trials on March 16th, the Associated Press reports. According to Kaiser Permanente, which is funded by the National Institutes of Health to conduct the project, the vaccine eschews dead or inert viruses and instead utilizes messenger RNA or mRNA. Live Science reports the U.S. government has fast-tracked the study without testing on animal models in a bid to bring the vaccine to the market faster. A previous study in molecular theory suggests engineered mRNA could cause ribosomes in human cells to manufacture artificially designed proteins. According to Kaiser Permanente, their vaccine would make cells produce a protein that is found in the outer coating of SARS-CoV-2, which triggers an immune response. If a person who received the vaccine is later infected with COVID-19, their prior immune response may help their body mount a stronger reaction to the real virus infection. Citing U.S. health officials, the Associated Press reports that it takes 12 to 18 months for the authorities to validate a new vaccine. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.